Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoppingly Ever After. So this is a part two video to part one that I put up on my last upload. I showed you guys my wardrobe organization and where I store my clothes. And today I'm going to be showing you these two cabinets that you see on each side of my room. And then I will also show you two other units that I have storage for like accessories and hats and my ear collection and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this cabinet on the left side. So in these first two drawers, I'm not going to open them, but I will tell you the first one has my underwear and then the second one I have my bras and I just line them up like a filing system and they're all in color. It's really easy to find them and I just like doing that. So then in this bottom drawer, this one I will show you, I have my spaghetti strap camisole shirts. You can see again, I did the filing system with these like by color and style. and. For these, um, I got inspiration from the Marie Kondo method. I hope I'm saying her name right. And basically I just lay them out and then I will fold them in half. I will fold them in half again, tuck in the straps, fold them in half again, and then one last time. And then I can just stand them up in this drawer and I'm able to make two different rows. So you can see I have some on the bottom underneath and the ones on the top are the ones I wear the most, but um, I was able to put so many more of these in this drawer versus how I used to stack them before. I'd just like fold them in half and in half again, and I was running out of room because they were too tall. The stack was too tall, so doing it this way here um, was actually a big space saver for me. So now on the left side, I have these doors which open up. And in here, I store some of my backpack purses. So down here, I have four different ones. And then up here, I have two more that are on the right. And then on the left, these are all of my crossbody type of purses. I have some unicorn ones and I just tied the straps so that they don't go all over the place in here. But um, these are pretty much all the crossbody. And then I have these as the backpack purses. I do have some more backpack purses on the um, other cabinet on the other side of my room, so I will show you guys that now. All right, I'm going to show you the cabinet on the side of my room now. So starting on the top, I have another one of those shelves and I have a bag that is laying down because it's really tall. It is a mermaid bag that has a mermaid tail and it's really awesome. And then over here I have my collection of belt bags that I've just recently been getting into. Um, they're really nice when I like wear a skirt. They look really cute. So. Um, down here I have the rest of my backpack purses. This one I just got recently and it has adorable little unicorn prints and rainbows and hearts. And then these three bags I got a long time ago at Rue 21 and they were on clearance for $3 and I've gotten so many compliments on those bags. And then this one is a denim bag. So in this top drawer here, this is where I keep my PJ pants and instead of folding them because they didn't fit very well, you can see these drawers are not very deep. Um, I actually folded them in half and then I rolled them. So it's similar to what I did with my camisoles on the other side, but I'm able to fit so much more in here. I can even like stack two rows if I need to, but I have some really fun printed um, PJs. A lot of these I got from Goodwill, this unicorn one I got from Primark. Um, and then I also have some shorts in the middle here as well. So these are extremely baggy and <laughs> comfortable PJs I like to wear like at the end of the day. Down here I have my baggy t-shirt PJs and um, they're just like, again, the really comfortable shirts that are nice to wear if you don't wanna like have anything fitted on. Um, and then I also have some PJ, they're like PJ dresses, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Um, it's like a night shirt, I guess. <laughs> There's the unicorn, this is a mermaid. I have another unicorn. This one says rise and shine. They're so much fun to wear. So, and then in the middle, I just have some more like baggy or camisoles that are just rolled. So those are all of my PJs, um, not counting my onesies, of course. And then this drawer down here, I have a bunch of like thick and some of the really high socks, like the knee high. 
So um, I just have them stacked. These I tend to wear in the fall and the winter, so I keep them in here. <laughs> this little kitty face. Um, I have these adorable snowman that a friend just recently gave to me and some unicorn and rainbow socks. I forgot to mention, I also have some leg warmers that are back here. These are like the ones that you can wear over boots. So again, something that I wear in the fall, but um, those are really fun. So then in the corner of my room, I have another little cabinet, which I use to store some hats and some accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up and show that to you guys now. So I'm drawing a blank as to what this unit is called and where I got it from. So I'm going to poke around online and if I'm able to find it, I will put a link in the description bar if you're interested. Um, it's a really fun cabinet. It came in two pieces. So there's this bottom section here and then this top section. I'm going to start on the bottom section where I put my hats and please ignore all of the cords on the left side. I hate how that looks, but I have so many lights that I plug in and I need to come up with like Maybe I should get a power strip or something, but anyway, so in here, um, like I said, this is where I store my hats and I have all of my baseball caps on the top shelf. I've been collecting these for so many years and as you can see, um, they're all just stacked inside of each other and I don't really have a lot of room left, if any, so I probably should not be buying any more hats after this point. Um, and then down here, these are some like fluffy winter hats and I have some really cute animals. Um, this one is a Rilakkuma bear or Rilakkuma, I don't know how you say it. Um, and then I have an Olaf and this one's really fun because it has a squeezy thing that like make his arms go like this. <laughs> and then I have a panda, a raccoon, a penguin, a hamster. I have some Hello Kitty hats over here as well. So then on this bottom shelf, I have some more winter hats, like the winter beanies with the big pom-poms, those type of things. And then this one I got on clearance at Target. It was like 94 cents or something. I don't remember. It's a reindeer. It is so cute. And then I have some Hello Kitty hats and some like plaid hats and um, this headband thing. So yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see a more detailed uh, video showing my collection of hats, I will gladly do that. So this top drawer has a bit of random stuff in it, but um, some of it is stuff I put in my purses. So when I go out, like this is my portable charger for my phone. I have a couple of little coin purses. This is my rain jacket that I have folded up in this plastic bag. So I'm able to just pop it in my purse really easily. I have a collection of hand sanitizers, depending which scent I'm in the mood to bring. And then I'm using this craft organizer to organize some of my bracelets and my more fancy jewelry. I do actually have a jewelry organizer that is hanging on the back of my door and I put my more like my daily jewelry in there and then this is more like the fancy stuff. And then I also have these two little containers over here. I put some extra like my colorful jewelry in so those work really great. So then in this second drawer here, <laughs> this one is the one that is the most disorganized and I need to probably go through it. I have some little trinket trays to put my rings in. These are really pretty heart lights that I like to put up for different seasons. I have some extra earrings that I need to get an organizer, like an earring organizer. And then this is a section over here that's like really disorganized. So. I'm going to try to work on that drawer at some point. Now I'm going to show you some little cabinet units I have in my closet. So these wooden units are something that I had from years and years ago. I don't know where they came from, but I will say that Ikea has some extremely similar to this if you guys want to get something like this, but these aren't actual Ikea drawers. So you might remember also that I had these in my filming studio area and I had like hamster supplies and stuff in them and I actually found a better place to put those hamster supplies and then I moved these in here. So I'm going to start off in this top drawer and I apologize if the lighting is not the best. It got really cloudy outside and it's starting to thunder so I brought my ring light in. But um, anyways, these are some of my cat ears and you guys will see I have 
three drawers of cat ears which I have been collecting so many of these and you'll see they're all different styles but strangely enough with even with the amount of ears that I have I still have a couple outfits that I don't have any ears that match like I need some burgundy ones so these ones I just got recently from Claire's they were half off and they're donuts and they're so so cute and then I have like my unicorn ones in the back and this is my last drawer of ears. These ones are like the metal ones, which I'm not as much of a fan of the metal because they are they really dig in on my head and they give me a headache after a while. But then I also have these random bumblebee ones. But um, yeah, those are where I store my ears. And then these next two drawers are actually empty. I don't have anything in it, but I do store my nail polish in this bottom drawer here. And uh, some of my nail polish is probably dried out. I should go through it again, but um, it looks organized at least. So I am going to move on the right side now. In this top drawer, um, I started collecting some scrunchies and some cute little hair accessories. And um, I'm hoping to find a few more, but I don't want to go too crazy like I tend to do with everything that I collect. But um, that's just what is in that drawer. And then down here, I have my ribbons, which I use for my hair, um, like if I braid my hair and I want to put a little ribbon at the end. And then I have some headbands and some bows and all sorts of really fun stuff that I like to put in my hair. So um, this one, you can see the ribbon kind of like catches on the drawer, but it does fit, so I just left it like that. In this next drawer, I keep my sunglasses, and then in the back corner, I have my new phone cases to go with my new phone. I do still have my old cases that went with my other phone, but I don't keep it in here since I don't really have to get to them. So those are just my current cases. So in the drawer underneath the sunglasses, I have a couple of different little wallets and little zippered pouches. Yes, this is a taco in case you were wondering. It cracks me up. But some of these, like this one, I will sometimes put my phone in to protect it. And like this one, I can put, you know, tissues or um, these obviously are like coin and money purses. Um, I love the Hello Kitty. A friend sent this one to me. And then this one, I have a tiny little iron and I just got this recently I haven't tried it yet to see if it works but it was so tiny and so cute and it really saves me from having to like pull out the big iron and the big ironing board so I have a mini ironing board and I have a mini iron and I just thought that was so cute so that is everything that is in these units here so now whenever I do my room tours in future, you guys will know what I store in these different cabinets and units because I don't think I've ever really shown that before. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other collections or organizing or lifestyle type of videos you would enjoy seeing, let me know. I love filming videos like these and I try to film the videos that I personally enjoy watching on YouTube. So. Um, anyways, I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!